He was a Scottish nobleman, also referred to as a Dane. His intense desire to become King of Scotland, against all odds and values, led to his tragic death. The story unfolds on the Scottish Highlands, ruled by King Duncan, who was Macbeth's cousin. At this time, a battle was raging between the Scots and the Norwegians. It was a gory, savage war, but the fierce and brave Macbeth led the Scots to victory. Macbeth reaches his 
castle where Lady Macbeth awaits him. She had already received an urgent letter from Macbeth narrating what had happened. Lady Macbeth was ecstatic and she was beginning to see Macbeth as king and herself as queen. Pain of Corder, destiny of greatness awaits you. The witches speak the truth of my future crown, but my heart is restless. King Duncan proceeds to attend the feast tonight and leave tomorrow. I can see desire for the future, but courage fails you. Be worthy, Pain of Corder. Greatness is to be earned and fought for. Daggers shall do the deed in the shadows of the night. Yes, they shall, and the dawn shall see the light of a new king. The castle hall was ready for celebration with great pomp and grandeur. Everyone has gathered in the hall. King Duncan has arrived. and the blame shall befall them. The sun has set. Sons of King Duncan, I bring you devastating news. Be brave. Your father has been murdered! It was his servants. I shall avenge him! Calm, Malcolm. I have killed them. But rest not. Heavens not know who can be next. Terrible times. Let's go to the hall. We shall join you soon. Believe me, brother, it is but a reason to escape now. There is treachery in the air. I shall go to Ireland. And I shall leave for England. A week later, Macbeth is coronated as king and Lady Macbeth becomes queen. The prophecies had come true. Macbeth was finally king. But as the saying goes, Old sins have long shadows. Lady Macbeth was having second thoughts about what had happened. She became more fearful and anxious. She knew Macbeth had crossed to a place from where he could never return. I am king now. But the witches did not say that my descendants would be heirs to the throne. Instead, she said Banquo's would be. What is the point if my children are not heirs to the throne? This cannot happen. Something must be done. There's a man who'd see you. I want Banco and his son Fliance dead. No one shall know, and you will be rewarded. Yes, I take my king. As was commanded, the thug killed Banco, but Fliance managed to escape. 
Banco was a close friend and ally, but that did not deter my bed. Can anyone's soul come unscathed after such a deed? What happens to Macbeth now? Well, there's a grand feast at the banquet hall to celebrate the coronation. Come, join us, my king. But where shall I sit? You can sit here. No, it shall be. What is the matter? I just see Banco on the chair. There is no one sitting on your chair. The king is not feeling well. Please leave us to take rest. It was Banco's ghost, but nothing will stop me. Did you not see? Macduff was not in the room. I know he's plotting against me. No one shall take my place. I will go to the Wind Sisters tomorrow. The next day, Banco's death is announced. There's a scent of fear in the air. Ross and Lennox meet at the terrace. It is not right here. First King Duncan's death, then his son's fleeing and then being accused. Now Banquo dead, and Fleance has fled. I feel there is a storm coming. Macbeth haunts me. Yes, and Macbeth is missing too. Macbeth is not missing. He is going to join Malcolm. They are mobilizing an army against Macbeth. God help us all. until great burden which shall come against him to Johnson and Hill. Lennox, what news do you bring me? The word is, Macduff has fled to England and is mobilizing an army against John. I will kill his family and anyone who stands against me. Macbeth was clearly on a rampage. He killed Macbeth's entire family. His hands were more bloodstained than ever. Lady Macbeth was also not very well. She remained inside the walls of the castle, consumed with guilt and insanity slowly ebbing away. Please, come in. Is she sleeping? She does this every day in her sleep. Listen to what she says. Oh, oh, there, is, there is blood in my hands. Why won't why it wash away? Banker is in his grave, is he not? Oh, there is blood in my hands. There is nothing I can do. God save her soul. Let's 
Castle. Hail Scotland! Hail Scotland! Inside the castle, Macbeth was getting ready for battle, with the witch's prophecies ringing in his ears. But tragedy is about to strike. Woe to Macbeth! My king, I bring you bad news. Lady Macbeth has died. She should have waited until the battle was won. Leave. My king, look out the window. So Ben of Wood moves. Let's fight into the battlefield. You cannot kill me. No man born of women can harm me. But I was taken from my mother's room before time. Behold, this is your end. Malcolm was killed, and Malcolm, the son of Duncan, was crowned king. Peace had descended on Scotland. Macbeth was once a hero, but died a murderer. He returned to earth carrying nothing but his deeds. Greed, my dear friends, is never a